Hey everyone, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in today. This is going to be the recap of my first week on our pantry challenge. If you're new to my channel or maybe you've missed it, I am doing a challenge where I'm not trying to buy groceries up until March 1st. I'll have like a $50 budget if I need to replace staple items, but I wanted to just kind of empty up my fridge, avoid food waste, and I did leave a whole video up. I'll put it up in the cards of why I'm doing this and the planning process if you want to check that out. But this is the first week and it's definitely will be the easiest week because we had the most food to use up. I'm filming this at the week mark and I'm already realizing up until March 1st is a really long time. It's over a month. It's about six weeks. I would bet that I could make it a month, but as far as going all the way to March 1st, we will see because I don't just want to be eating like beans and rice. Actually, I'm even running out of rice. So I just want to make sure I'm still eating healthily by the end of February. So we'll see how it goes. But I'm I'm trying to be optimistic. Dave is not. Dave thinks I can make it a month. But up until March 1st, that's a long period of time to not be purchasing new food. But I am still happy with the amount of progress. I feel like I've been a lot more creative, especially with my snacks. I haven't been nearly as lazy. So if you like want a snack, you've been having like homemade popcorn or other like homemade treats that I've been making. And they're inexpensive and they're somewhat easy to make. I just have to get out of my rut and just make them and stop being lazy. So I have been doing that. There was one hiccup, which you'll see when I made dinner and I didn't realize the sausage was spicy. So I did have to kind of cheat a little bit with the pantry challenge but you'll see that but I wanted to give a little intro to this video and then you will see me vlogging for each day of what I've had for dinner now I didn't vlog much for the breakfast and lunch portions because we pretty much had like the same thing every day for breakfast we would have the bagels that we were trying to eat up or I had made hard, um, hard boiled eggs or oatmeal. So those were the breakfasts that I was using. It wasn't enough for me to like film it every day because it pretty much was the same thing every day. And then for lunches for Dave, he normally just brought his leftovers from the night before. And for me, I don't normally eat a heavy lunch. So usually I'm having like hummus or something like that. So it's not enough for me to literally vlog about, but I did show you my dinners for every night. Very proud of last night because Dave was really pushing for us to have Domino's and we did not. So that was good. And um, now I'm starting off week two. Dave had oatmeal for breakfast. I've yet to have breakfast and I do need to make my meal plan today for the week, but I will do that in next week's update. So stick around if you like this challenge and want to see how I am doing and you will just start watching the vlog for this week. So I think the key to this challenge is to be prepared and to be prepared like the next for the next day. So I'm not very prepared when it comes to cooking. I like wake up and then it's like 30 minutes before dinner and then I'm like, hey, what should I make? So I think this would be a really good learning thing for me to actually think about the next day or a couple days down the line when I'm thinking about food. So that way that I know what I need to do beforehand so I can succeed in the, the next day or two. So last night I did soak the beans and the chili is already started. So I already pre-cooked the beans and it's already going, which is awesome because it's at 12. I'm actually started it a couple hours ago. So it'll be a nice long steeping cooking time. And then right now for lunch, I did tweak it just a little bit just because we had a pretty lazy morning and we don't eat breakfast every single morning. So for our lunch today, we are having the, well, it's supposed to be an omelet, but it ends up being a scramble because I suck at making omelets. Uh, I just don't have the right spatula. I feel like it always, I, it's probably just user error, but uh, I'm making that for lunch and probably has some grapes. So I'll have that for lunch, chili for dinner, and I'm already thinking about tomorrow, which I do need to prep something. So I need to make hard boiled eggs because we are going to the safari park tomorrow. And I want to make sure that we're prepared for that so we can just get up and go. So that's my plan. And I need, to, I need to toss those mushrooms. So this is the final product, which looks really yellow in this lighting. Um, but we just have the mushroom scramble. And then I finished up the grapes, which is awesome because I feel like grapes is something I often throw out because we don't eat them fast enough. And then some of the blueberries. So the scramble is extra good because here's a tip for you. Maybe I should do like tips, maybe. Um, tip number one is to give your eggs a little extra something something, put seasoning salt in it because it was absolutely delicious. 
Don't you agree? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. It was it, like just tweaked it just enough to be like, hmm, that looks really good. So it's day two for my pantry challenge and I want to show you dinner because I'm really excited about it. I think you can find this recipe on Trader Joe's website. I remember seeing something similar. I'm not following the recipe right now, but I think it's pretty close. So let me show you what I'm doing. We have some, in here we have some chickenless chicken and it is the mandarin chicken bits, I believe it's what it's called. Um, I'll leave all the stuff down below, but that's almost ready. And then I'm making them into little tacos. So we have some, just some tortilla wraps, like those small ones. We had the Trader Joe's Island Salsa that I need to use up. I have some like cabbage slaw mixture there. And then I'm gonna put some of the clementines there too. So they'll be little sweet, hopefully very delicious mini tacos. This is what it looks like all done. Looks really tasty. Hopefully it is, because looks aren't everything. I don't cook like this. I want your opinion. It's an interesting mix of flavors. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Is that the nice, polite way to say that it's gross? No, it's not gross. It's gross. <laughs> or it's just like different to have in a taco form? It's a 3 point f no, 3.5 to 4. Okay. Hey, hey Ziggy. You'll have to explain our scale. So whenever I make a new meal, I make Dave rate it between one to five. Um, five being like amazing, gonna ask for it by name. This was absolutely delicious, one of your top meals. Four is, that was really good. I would probably wanna have it again by name, but not necessarily, but it was really good, right? Isn't that how I describe four? Four is like, it's, it's a really good meal, but it's not like the best meal ever. Three is, it's okay. You know, I wouldn't be mad if you made it again, but I'm not, it's really not my favorite thing. Two is, I didn't really quite like it. It's not disgusting. I'll still eat it, but, eh, you know, and then one is, Dear God, what were you thinking? Don't. Let's just order takeout. <laughs> so the, that's our rating thing. So he gave it, what, a three and a half, four? Three and a half, four? Yeah. Yeah? All right, let me give it a try. So this is pretty good. It's a little spicy for me, but... It's really tasty and I think at first it does give you like a 3.5 rating because it's like it's weird to have something sweet in like a wrap taco form but once you get over that just weirdness it's actually really tasty and I would definitely make it again and Dave said he changed it to a four yeah he's changing his rating to a four mine's a four as well so definitely good would probably make it again it won't be in like my top recipe list but it was really tasty what if you used mild salsa instead of medium yeah, I think for me, I would I would have to find a different salsa. I still like that it's sweet, though, like the sweet mango mm. salsa, but not spicy at all. Um, <laughs> um, if you're trying to find more meatless options, the Trader Joe's Mandarin Chickenless Tenders, I think that's what they call them. Um, again, I'll leave it down below, but they are amazing. You can't even tell that it's fake chicken. And I actually bought these when I was, like, sampling them at Trader Joe's, and most people who are not vegan couldn't even believe that it was fake. So you liked it too. Oh, he has a mouthful. Well, that's good. <laughs> um, but Dave's also agreed, like the ch actual tenders part, really tasty for it being not chicken. So I'm really digging this meal. I'm gonna dive in, but that is tonight's dinner. It is the end of day two, I know, super early, but I just am pretty proud of myself because I actually prepared Dave's lunch. So I didn't mention yesterday that I made enough chili to freeze some. So I put some in a metal container that I have and I put it in the freezer and it's enough for a, like a whole other meal, which is awesome for later on in the month. And then I did have enough still for Dave's lunch. So that will be it for today. I'm just going to have, I think, that snack. Although I'm not hungry. Maybe I'll just have some water. I'll do that instead. That's healthier. Um, but that's it for today. See you tomorrow. It is day three. Whoa. David Earl. It is day three of our pantry challenge, or my pantry challenge. And I didn't eat much during the day. had an apple and some peanut butter and coffee. And Dave had his lunch and breakfast at work. And I'm making dinner and I am changing the meal plan, but I'm still at least eating at home. I needed to cook up the leftover 
vegan burger and I needed to use some spaghetti sauce. So we are having some pasta. I'm doctoring up this spaghetti sauce. It's just the Trader Joe's three cheese um, with the vegan burger and I just cut up some garlic to just add some extra flavor, I guess, um, just because I need to use the garlic as well. And then for pasta, if you are gluten free, try red lentil pasta. No, not sponsored. <laughs> Um, but it has the same texture as regular spaghetti, but it's full of protein, really healthy, and it tastes really good, and the texture is really good. You really couldn't tell that it was not pasta besides it being red, you know? Um, so really enjoyed that. So we're going to have some pasta for tonight, and it'll be really tasty. And yeah, that's about it. All right, so this is tonight's dinner. Just simple pasta. This is what it looks like when it is cooked, it's just like a tan with the sauce. And then Dave will have that for lunch tomorrow, which is just some leftovers. Mm, my lipstick looks like crap. Mm. Oh well. It is day four of our pantry challenge and we are having this. I think it's, it's like a Thai inspired dish because I needed to use some carrots and I needed to finish up the snap peas. So I took those veggies and sauteed them in some sesame oil. And then I used, then I added some tofu and a little bit of olives. I don't know why I put the olives in, but um, apparently. I, I was thinking of a different recipe and they had already put the olives in. And then I was like, oh wait, this was for a different recipe, not the one I was making. So, you know, hopefully the olives cooked fine and doesn't ruin it and I use some peanut sauce and did I already say that I did tofu and I made noodles so I just put it all together and it's some type of Thai pate kind of had a bite yet hi Ziggy but Dave has how is it oh no is it a one star is it Satisfying your Thai craving. It's a two. It's a two? Really? I think Dave is right. Huh. He gave it a two. I'll give it like a 2.5, maybe a three. Sorry if it's crooked. Um, not horrible. It's edible. We'll still eat it. <laughs> I think my issue with it is that the it's more like a texture issue like for me it tastes okay and the taste is growing on me mm -hmm. but the peanut sauce has like this weird like powdery chalky type of texture I think that's what it gave the rest of it um, so it's just like a weird texture issue it's like peanut butter yeah it's like they, it's like food. they put peanut butter in the sauce that was like really dry and grainy you know that type of peanut butter that you're just like mmm but it's good I won't give you the recipe though because it wasn't very good. <laughs> it wasn't like a, oh, I'm going to make it again. But I may make it again because I got most of the ingredients for it. So for later in the month, we might, maybe I'll just like alter it a little bit. I don't know. The taste is growing on me. Yeah? You're liking it? So you're thinking it's more of like a three star? Mm -hmm. Like a, it's, it's a good meal. It's a good meal. It's not a great meal. And it's definitely not the best meal ever. So. There we go. Here we are. That was accurate. <laughs> it is day five of our pantry challenge and I desperately wanted to go out to eat. Dave really wanted Domino's, I really wanted to go out, but I made dinner instead. Is it as good as hot wings? I'm guessing that's a no. <laughs> Tonight's dinner is like what? Is it good? Or is that a bad ooh? I don't know if you're gonna like this sausage. Oh, is it spicy? Dinner tonight, it's just a concoction. Dave asked what it was for dinner, and that's what I told him. Um, so we just have some potatoes and sausage and peppers that I just had in the oven, and then I um, just fried up some asparagus to add some more vegetables. So that's what it is. You said it's spicy? The sausage is spicy. Why'd you pick that sausage out then? It didn't say spicy. I know. Oh, if it's spicy, then I'm going to die. I can't do spicy or I'll throw up, so. <laughs> this is what I get for being good. <laughs> um, so, yep, it's too spicy for me. My tongue is on fire. 
Um, I, I mean, it sounds like I'm a wimp, but I actually do get like blisters inside my mouth and I actually like throw up if I have anything spicy and this is too much for me. Yeah. Mm. Mm -mm. So I'm going to eat the asparagus and the potatoes and the peppers that are in it, but I'm not going to be able to have any of the protein that's in there. Um, so hopefully I'm full. <sighs> I am not full. I could not eat any of the sausage. Dave let me have some of the some of the, 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 the. I gave her my potatoes. I know. He gave was it all of your potatoes or some of your potatoes? Either way, yeah. I only had potatoes and asparagus for dinner and all the other food would just be like most of it's frozen. It didn't take anything out for like cooking right now. So I mean I have hummus, maybe you know. Where I'm just I have a free smoothie at Jamba Juice. That's what got, so that's what I'm gonna have for my dinner because I'm hungry and it's a lot cheaper. Actually, it's free, so I'm doing it. Sorry, not sorry. I'm hungry. So it's a berry up beet which has beets and strawberries and blueberries and I think raspberries and I did add some protein in there as well. So it's really tasty. Mm. Okay, um, I want to share with you the status of our fridge right now. Really good about eating what's in our fridge, and it's looking a little empty. Um, so like this whole drawer is empty, and here is just some apples, a acorn squash, and some carrots, the lemons, potatoes, some alcoholic beverages. But it's looking a little sparse, don't you think? In the doorway. Is even looking a little a little grim because we've been drinking wine. <laughs> um, so I'll actually put another bottle in here, but it's getting pretty pretty slim. I need to figure out what to do for dinner tomorrow. However, I'm still not worried because our freezer is still packed full. So we have to come up with a plan for tomorrow. Good morning. It is day six. Is it day six? I think it is of my pantry challenge. And I look oh so lovely right now. <laughs> um, I just woke up, but I feel like I've just been showing you what I've been having for dinners and not really showing you what I've been doing throughout the day. So Dave is at work until around 2.30 is when he gets home at that time. But So he will already have had his breakfast, which he's just been using up the bagels that we've had. And then for lunch, it's usually been leftovers. Today he did bring... One of the lunch options that we had in the freezer, I believe he's having mac and cheese today, so I'm sure he's pretty excited about that. So tonight I think I'm going to do breakfast for dinner. We're going to have some pancakes. I need to use up some apples, so I'm going to make like a little applesauce and maybe a couple eggs, so that will be our dinner. Not a lot of fruits and vegetables with our dinner, except for the apples, and probably we'll finish up the blueberries tonight. Our fridge is looking a little a little sad already, and it's only been almost a week. <laughs> um, it was just, I think I didn't realize how much was going bad. Um, but we've also, that's the, only the food that we've been eating is the stuff that was in the fridge. So you can just, I just am pretty happy about that because our freezer is still like packed full, still so many options in there. And I really haven't used anything in the pantry besides a little bit of noodles. So I still think I'll be okay. However, it's not even February, and I said, what, March 1st was the next time I'll have a big grocery budget, so we'll see. Um, I'm not, like, I mean, we have the money. It's not like I'm doing it because we need the money for February. It'd just be kind of cool to see how much we can get through. So right now I'm having some coffee. Our favorite has been this one from Trader Joe's. It's the Fair Trade Breakfast Blend. We've been really liking it. So right now I'm... I'm currently making some hard boiled eggs so Dave can have some for breakfast tomorrow. And for me today, I don't eat a ton of stuff during the daytime. I just don't. Um, so I'm having some coffee now. I might have like a packet of oatmeal for my breakfast. And then for lunch, I'm probably going to eat up that quinoa salad with some crackers. So that will be what I will be eating. And then the fridge. Fridge is in a sta sad state of affairs already, but I still have that giant summer squash and the mango, so 
I think we'll be okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll be okay. Um, I think I'm gonna have to put eggs on the pantry list because eggs is such an essential part of our diet. <laughs> we love them. Um, they're a great source of protein without having meat. We, I don't consider eggs to be meat. So um, I'm gonna probably have to get eggs sometime. So it doesn't look very appetizing, but I did adjust what I was having for breakfast just so we could save the oatmeal packets for day for work. So I just used the bulk oatmeal and I used the kettle just to heat up some water and I put some peanut butter in there for some protein and plus it's just delicious. I put some blueberries in there and I also added a little bit of agave syrup to give it a little sweetness and so this will be my breakfast which looks way hardier than the original plan of me having an oatmeal packet but again I'm just like prolonging those packets just because they're easy for Dave to bring to work and so yeah I'm gonna have a nice filling breakfast because it has a bunch of protein from the peanut butter so yay so as i'm eating this breakfast i'm realizing one it's delicious oh my gosh it's like dessert for breakfast but i wouldn't have made this if i wasn't on the no buy challenge that loose oatmeal has been there for quite some time and so <clears throat> i really think needing to stretch the packet oatmeals made it made me discover something really amazing. And it was super easy, because my tea kettle, I, it's an electric one, it boils water in like three minutes. So it really only took me three minutes to make this breakfast. It's me putting oatmeal in a bowl, putting a little bit of peanut butter, sprinkling some blueberries on top, squirt agave, and then my water was done. And so, I mean, it was super, super easy, and it's absolutely delicious. And I, very excited that I froze all, like half of those blueberries because I can make this probably at least like seven times with the blueberries and then I can add different fruits as well so I'm excited that it's amazing <laughs> um, so I'm happy I was able to discover this oatmeal and I can see me making it a bunch in the future sad note though don't you hate when you sit down to eat, I don't know, your breakfast or you're going to go sit on the couch to like watch YouTube or something and you realize the coffee you made is still sitting on the kitchen counter. <laughs> so I'm like over here at the table and I'm just staring at my coffee that I left on the counter. I know, I'm just being lazy right now, but anyone else is just like, oh, seriously, I just made it. How did I forget it on the counter? I'm currently making dinner and change of plans. I know I originally said I was going to do breakfast for dinner. That's what I told Dave too, so he was surprised when I said that we were having veggie burgers. But I had a craving for something savory, and pancakes just is not that. So I'm making veggie burgers, and then I am attempting some homemade french fries. So I cut up my potatoes, and the oil is being heated up currently. I don't have a deep fryer or anything, I'm just using a pan. And then I thought I had pickles, but apparently we don't, so I'm going to put just a couple olives on the plate. Steve really didn't think that was a good idea, but I like olives and you know, it's something green on the plate, even though it's, is olives a veggie or a fruit? I'm guessing it's a fruit, but um, we didn't have pickles, unfortunately. So that will be our vegetable. No judgment, guys. I'm just trying to use what I got, um, but trying to add, I mean, honestly, I could just be fine with just the french fries not even the veggie burger. French fries just sound good. Um, so wish me luck on making them from scratch. I did change my shirt in case there's any like oil splatter because this is one that I really don't care about. So, yep, I'm gonna cook dinner now. So the first batch is done and they look so good. Um, one is cut just because I wasn't sure if they were done or not, but um, yum. <laughs> oh my gosh, those look so good. Hey. What do you think of the french fries? They look good. I do a test run of the french fries and I'm like, oh my goodness, these are so good. Why don't I do this more often? I'll show you why. How much of a mess it makes. <laughs> Luckily... I had to do a, a clean of the kitchen anyway, so I think French fry night has to be a day that the kitchen's already dirty. 
but I'm still excited. So Dave gave the french fries a five. The veggie burger is a two, which I agree. It's normally not the brand we go for, and they're just like, I don't know. When I was cooking them, they just wouldn't like harden up, and so they're extremely soggy. And I mean, they tasted okay. They had a little bit of a kick to them. Fries were, are so good, though. Dave didn't care for the olives, but I don't mind the olives. Um, but that was another dinner. I'm really proud of myself because I really wanted a snack. And we were watching The Big Bang Theory for a second, and they were making snow cones with their blender, and I was like, I wonder if our blender is strong enough to do it. And it is! Ah! So all I did was put ice in the blender, put it on crush mode. It took probably like five seconds, nah, like ten seconds. And then the only thing I have to like flavor it with is so main, but maple syrup. Um, I feel like this would be an awesome thing to do during the summer. Has anyone else done this before with just the regular blender? But I want to get like actual other flavorings. I don't know, I'm going to have to experiment, but I'm excited. This is what it looks like in the blender. It's just like the crushed ice. And then I'm just going to put it in this little dish with some maple syrup on top. So it is 6 o'clock. Uh-oh. And Dave really wants Domino's. He's like, but I want wings. And so we bought a new pizza cutter today because we didn't realize the one that we did have we had left in Mississippi. So we have a frozen pizza. I think I'm just going to make that for dinner tonight. And we're going to have a board game in it because what they're faking. <laughs> he really wants wings. Would you rather me have wings tonight or on Super Bowl night? Well, that's bullshit. <laughs> um, so, I think I'm going to make the, just the pizza. I'm not super hungry. We had a pretty late lunch, so um, we're going to have pizza tonight. He is over there pouting. Oh, babe. <laughs> um, oh, by the way, oh my gosh, it sounds like I'm an alcoholic because I feel like every other day I'm like having wine or something. But... I finally cracked open one of the beers that was in the fridge because we've are running out of things to drink. <laughs> um, anyways, this is the Ridgeway Brewery Brewing. This, so this is the Ridgeway Brewing Reindeer's Revolt Christmas Ale. It's so good. It's just a brown ale, but it's nice and crisp, but not like have a weird bitter taste to it or anything. Not too floral either, so I really like it. Did you have a sip? No, you haven't had a sip yet. So tonight's going to be a chill Friday night in. We are going to have beer and pizza and play board games. That's our, our evening. How's your Friday? Is it a little bit crazier than ours? <laughs> How was your beer? Very good. It was good beer. You split the bottle. We played Life. Dave won. It was a pretty close game, though. But we didn't play that one in a while. And then we were going to put it away, but someone is enjoying the box. It's funny. You put the box up on the table, and he came out of nowhere and laid down. <laughs> Aw, sweet boy. So that is it for this week's pantry challenge update. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Again, I will be doing this until the end of February. Hopefully, we'll see how it goes. If I get to the point where my pantry is completely empty, then I might just have to suck it up and just go grocery shopping but we'll see when we get there i still have my freezer completely full as you saw and that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next week's update bye guys